Hi, everybody, and thanks for joining us at Madison Square Garden, home of the NIT Finals. This should be a great game between the Buffalo Bulls and the Tennessee Volunteers. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch up here? I tell you what, it looks like an M&M, but you never know. If they come out and get an early start and play with some confidence and get that early lead, they can put pressure on the favor. The Volunteers are looking to make this one a blowout early. What are the keys for them tonight, Dick? Yeah, on a night like this, the keys are pretty simple, Brad. First of all, play your game. It's up to the point guard to make certain that they stay in their game and they play at their pace. Next, reward your big man. Give him the ball down low. Get him into the game. Let him be part of the offense. And lastly, you can't win, baby, if you don't get the glass. You must rebound. Rebounding is the key. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Both teams looking to get things going here. The small forward handles the feed. He blocks the shot. The ball goes out of play. the man in the high post if he can get it there stop and pop way off target goes up for two goes in look out that sends a message to the screener the defenders doing a great job of applying ball pressure tries to get the D to bite turnaround jumper can't get the shot to go Inside. He attempts the trifecta off the rim and no good. The small forward receives the ball. He launches a three. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside shooters. They've got to attack inside and then out. For the bucket. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. They're not giving him a chance to get into transition. Great command of the floor. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Here's the offensive drop step on low block, but better and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Ten on the shot clock. Number five handles the pass. Looks at the three. He nails the bucket. Go into the low block. The center receives the pass. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Drops the bucket despite the harm. For two. And he missed. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Leans in. Great play to take that to the basket. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. High post flasher is open. Down inside. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. Trying to feed the low block. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They'll work it around the arc. 
The skip pass is picked off. Gave it up. Poor judgment results in a backcourt violation. You gotta take care of the rock, baby. Ball's coming from the sideline. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Number five takes it away. Nothing's going to come easy tonight, baby. They are really playing for keeps. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. The ball goes out of bounds. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Now trying to feed the low block. Goes up for two. In and out. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. He bombs from outside. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. Brad, he's not getting any help out there. It's basically one against five. Not good odds. There they come with a double team to stop it. And they get the turnover. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. And the ball goes out of play. They move it into the front court. High post player flashing. He was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part because it resulted in the foul. If you're going for the steal, you better get it. If not, this is exactly what happens. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Way off target. Coming inside. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help soft. Tries for two, and in and out. Look at that spacing. Number 21 is fired up and ready to go. Well, he's had some success, and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. the bucket they can't seem to get the ball to go in tonight dick they have to start making better passes and start going towards the basket more there's the trap on the dribble gives it up pull up jumper from way out off the rim and no good Comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. He's trying a three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position of spreading his body and getting the ball. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Gave it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Jumps into the defender. Easy one. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Here's a drop step below block. Very key is to get good post position, and he does, and then he drops the step of the run. Entry pass in the paint. 
Pass down low. There's a drop step and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face up position in the post. Run him right into the screen again. What did I say? That's an ill-advised shot. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. They work it around the perimeter. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Number 34, pump fakes. For two, can't get the shot to drop. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brent, although the underdog holds the lead now, remember, it is very early, and we don't know if they have been in this position before. So we'll have to see if they'll be able to maintain it. All right, thanks, Aaron. Goes up for two. They still don't score. Working it around the perimeter. Pushing that basketball. When you're one of the top-ranked teams, you've got to bring your best every night. Teams are always looking to knock you off. You've got that right, Brad. When you're a good team, everybody wants a piece of you. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the outside. Dumping inside. He goes for three. Way off target. Pushes it up. Puts it up. Looking for contact. Number one, makes the finger roll. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Good job defensively. They just won't give them any open. Pressure in the basketball. There's a slam. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. He tries the three. Comes up short. They're working around the perimeter. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. If his actions weren't deflating enough, how about this? He's definitely provoking this crowd. Oh, oh Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. First one is good. That's a 7 nothing run. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. That's 8 on answer. As you would say right here, Mr. Vitale, flop city. I tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Looking for a good shot. The Volunteers have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Got Great a post. nice screen. He goes to the line for the first time. It goes in. Two at the charity strike. Oh, 
Oh, what a hard screen there. They work the perimeter. For the bucket, Buffalo are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. See if they can get a good shot this trip. High post flashes. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Nice high post screen. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. fakes a jumper he uses the shot fake with a little baby hook they're just having a devil of a time getting good looks at the hole that's right Brad I haven't seen a whole lot of plays carried out and executed the way they should be controlling the ball top of the circle they work it around the perimeter perfectly executed Puts up the tray. He's not even looking for the open man, Dick. They might need a quick T.O., baby. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumps in. Great shot. Up and inside. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Way off target. Strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. He shoots from right of the circle. Knocks it down. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. In and out. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Moving it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Now they'll bring it up. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Let's see if they can get it two on this end. Shoots it. Gets it to go. away the pass this young man means so much to this team and the fans just love him he's very popular Brad he has done some great things on the court and the people really appreciate him for it pass down low there's a drop step and oh good defense I got defense reacted and beat him to the spot very poor job with the drop step very slow
got some room. He shoots from the top of the circle. Way off target. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Look at him now, Dick, celebrating with a cheerleader. Now that's a spectacle. Hey, I think he's missed the versatile. Play some hoop, do a little dance. Number 34 to the line. It's good. We're going to GR, baby. That's winning energy, baby. The team with the most energy and execution goes home with the big W. Double team now, that angle. Number two steals the ball. He pushes it hard up the court. Working it around the perimeter and work it into a double team on a post. Stolen away. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Takes the shot. He forces another bad shot. That is not how you win ball games, Mr. Nestler. On the outside. They'll work it around the arc. Three. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Dick, this crowd will go silly if they can get some points this trip. Intercepted. Big man spins down in the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. Ooh, look at the shot block. We got some contact. Nice hops. Gave it up. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. These fans are thrilled. What a reaction. What a response. What enthusiasm. Defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three. He gets the rejection. Number 21 takes the pass in the paint. Perfectly executed. Looking for a good shot. Green up on top. For the bucket. Missed the jumper. At the end of the first half, the Volunteers are ahead by two. Let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. Had a horrible first half, Dick, in turning the ball over. I see a lot of guys out there thinking too much when they have the ball. When you think too much on the basketball court, they try to be Aristotle, man. They got to be basketball players. The opposition has time to react. You can't let them have that advantage. 
Dick, you start looking at this when you were a coach and you were down this big at halftime. <laughs> what are you thinking? Let's get out of here. I'll tell you what, David has really had a tough time against the Goliath. They have done a great job, the Goliath, coming out mentally focused and ready to perform. Makes the shot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dave. He's out of control, baby, out of control. On the inside. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. There was no doubt about that one. The Volunteers are up by four. He's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. There's a double team waiting there. He puts up the tray. Hey, when are these guys going to be able to make a shot? On the outside. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Great play to take that to the basket. movement get that good spacing thinks about the shot there's the fake he tries a jump hook and off the mark gets up to make the block up fake he shoots from the top of the key I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. He's obviously carrying his team, Brad. His teammates need to follow his lead and join in on the action. He shoots from long range. Poor shooting behind that arc lately, Dick. Yeah, they can't seem to find their stroke yet, Brad. Looking for a good shot. The ball goes out of play. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. Moving it around the perimeter. On the dribble. Gives it up. Tries for two. And in and out. Basket falls despite the contact. I think right now, got to focus defensively. It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. Gave it up. And the ball goes out of bounds. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your... Thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far. Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. out of bounds full house and a packed crowd and they are into it tonight i tell you what emotion what an edge for the home team puts it on the floor and up and under they still don't score trying to draw some contact
He fires it up. Sinks the shot. They work the perimeter. And the ball goes out of play. Entry pass in the paint. Pump fakes. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. The ball goes out of play. Time to pick up the defense here now. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Working it around the perimeter. Will take the shot. He made good use of the screen, but the shot fell off. Steals a pass. And a momentary look from three-point land. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. in front to take it away. He throws it up from downtown. He hits the shot. The Volunteers are behind by seven. Great defensive play. Anticipated. The layup's good and one, Dick. Hey, that's good concentration. Taking the ball hard to the hoop. Knowing that someone's going to hack you. Number 25 to the line, shooting one. Makes the foul shot. That's an 8 nothing run. The Volunteers have a three-point shooter spotting up. He drains it. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Launches away. Off the rim and no good. Very active defensively. A lot of pressure on the basketball. Picked off. Here they come now on a turn. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Looking for a good shot. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. He kept the ball on the floor long enough to set up the screen and get the nice look from the inside. With a quarterback pass. Looks at a three. Makes the shot. Let's take a look at that last hoop. Looking to move it around the perimeter on the inside. 
Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Here's the question, Dick. They've shocked everybody, including us, all night long. We still got a little ways to go in the ballgame. Can they keep it up, though? I'll tell you what, they're sending that message that we're going to shock the nation, baby, that we're for real, that we're not here going to be laying down and getting blown out. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He goes to the line for the first time. Hits the first. And he got them both. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Goes up for two. Tennessee are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. He takes a three, way off target. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. There's the rejection. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. it up for two perfectly executed all right let's check in third member of our team again here's Aaron Andrews well, Brian Dick I don't know if you can hear it from where you are but I can hear it clearly the coach is stressing to his team go inside go inside they've been effective in this area all night long what an asset to have Aaron's right about that I tell you Aaron's exactly right post play is essential if you're going to be effective Moving it around the perimeter. Great effort defensively. He says, thou shalt not enter thy lane, baby. Get it out of here. I'm the landlord. Number one with a finger roll. Again, a little one-man backcourt pressure. He puts up the three ball. Off the rim and no good. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. They work it around the perimeter from three-point territory. Makes it. They work it around the arc. the circle they work it around the perimeter pro hop draws the foul nice move if you want to know how aggressive a team is you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line that's a great indicator He drained it. That's a nylon NBN. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor. Gets the rejection. Great play to take that to the basket.
Working it around the perimeter. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. With a rejection. And the ball goes out of bounds. Now check him out. Who would have thought with the cheerleaders? Come on. Hey, he's dancing, baby. A dancer. I never knew that. I'm surprised. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. He intercepts it. Ball goes out of bounds. On the dribble, gives it up. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Turnover City, though, always really the gate. Any offense. The game is changing, Brad. These days, guys are consistently playing above the rim. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. For the bucket. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Gave it up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. From beyond the arc, you betcha. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. Kicks it out. There's the pick. There's the roll. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created a foul opportunity. Second one, good. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. On the outside. Tries for two, and he missed. Good job defensively. For the bucket. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. On the dribble, gives it up, picks off the pass. They work the perimeter, looking for a screen on top and got it. He buries the shot. Picks off the pass. Top of the key. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. Picks off the lazy pass. Looking for a good shot from three-point range. Way off target. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. 
It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Picked out of the air. For two. He missed. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. From downtown. Got it. Here's another look, Dick. Looking for contact. He keeps his dribble long enough to run his guy off the screen and slide in for the nice deuce. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Goes up for two. Off the rim and no good. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Gave it up. The power forward takes the pass. Dumps it in. Big man spins down. He blocks the shot. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Kick it back outside. Steals the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Launches away. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. They work it around the perimeter. He takes the shot. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. For the bucket. Up. Easy one. Moving it around the perimeter. They'll work it around the arc. On the outside. The shooting guard with the ball. Number 25 draws the personal. Well, Dick, there's a look at the foul situation. Well, you know, Brad, a lot of times the first team to the bonus will get the advantage. That means they're playing aggressive basketball. It means they get to the charity strike quicker and have an opportunity to rack up some easy points. Gets the second shot. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. with a jump hook. I tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Defense extended the whole game long. There's that pressure on the ball. That's a high post screen. Goes to the lane. Rims out. Timeout's called. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Back to the live action we go. Gonna move it around the perimeter. The point guard gets the pass. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Perfectly executed.
Do you think they switch things around here for the moment, Dick? I don't think so, but we'll wait and see, Brad. This place will go senseless, Dick, if they can get a stop. Gets it back out. The small forward takes the feed. That's a great response by this crowd. Hey, that reaction says it all. These fans are ecstatic, Brad. Brad, this crowd will be in a frenzy if they can get a basket on this possession. Spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating this. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. And the ball goes out of play. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. Momentary look from three-point land. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Bounces off. This one is going to overtime. And the fans aren't going anywhere. They're here for the duration, baby. At the end of regulation, these teams are tied. Who would have thought coming into this game, Richards, that this game would ever end up going an extra session? I tell you, just goes to show you what happens when you play with intensity and emotion. And that's what happened here. Hey, the favorite better lock it up early in his OT, or the momentum is going to go the way of the underdog. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. The power forward receives the ball. Working it around the perimeter. Shoots it. Rims out. The point guard handles the feed. The crowd loves this young man. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Dump it inside. Intercepted. Pass is stolen. Terrific gamble on the interception. to take it away. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Doesn't go. Tries to turn and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Gave it up. Picked off. The power forward gets the ball. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, field the defensive player on your hip. Going one way and the spin back the other way. On the dribble, gives it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. The shooting guard handles the pass. He's money with a shot.
Until he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Sets the screen for his teammate. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's getting it done out there, Brad. They'd be in trouble without him. Great defense. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Instead of giving him that, he was a foul. They cut the lead to two. Hold on to your seat, Mr. Nestler. He lets it fly. He nails the shot. Timeout. They want to talk it over right here. And with that timeout, we go to the third member of our broadcast team. Aaron? Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. All right. Thanks, Aaron. Let's get ready to resume the action. It's down to a one-point game, Dick. Yes, sir. This is where the big boys start to play, Brad. On the outside. Got the shot if he wants it. Blocked. It's a block party out there. For two. Nothing on nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. to the action. That bucket cuts the lead to one. I told you there was a lot of time, Brad. He better get rid of it. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Dick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. The power forward receives the pass. Great play to take that to the basket. It's a one-point game. One point usually means free throws, Brad. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. That makes it a two-point game, Dick. And the Palms are starting to sweat, believe me. Up and inside. The ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Well, Dick, it looks like they're going to spend a little bit of time fouling right here. And here's a look at the foul situation. Well, Brad, fouling and knowing when to foul is an important part of the game. If you have fouls to give, sometimes it's better to commit one rather than giving up an easy basket. Second shot, no good. The more possessions you create, the better your chances. to hit the floor. He shoots from outside. He nails the bucket. Back to the action now to half court. Let's see what they set up, Dick. Cross court. He lets it go. Off the rim and no good. And we're
we're going into extra innings. This may turn out to be an all-nighter, baby. After the first overtime, these teams are all even. Dick, I don't know if your voice is going to hold up. We're going to another overtime, and we thought this one would be over about an hour ago. I'll tell you one thing. What a great effort by a bunch of kids that weren't supposed to be in this game. Just goes to show you, it's all about performing, not about reading your press clippings. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Shooter spotting up on a three. Number five is receiving an enthusiastic response from the crowd. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. He shoots from left of the circle. Scorches the net. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Dick are doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. He shoots from left of the circle. Let's slow it down on the replay. Gave it up. Pressure that basketball, help one another communicate. And he'll kick it back outside. He pulls the trigger. He's taking too many unnecessary shots, Dick. And he's forcing his team to rhythm. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional player. He makes the block. They'll work it around the arc. And the ball goes out of bounds. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. He gives him the fake. There's the pick. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Buffalo are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Look at that spacing. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. He's got to pass it or make a play, Brian. The land. Dump it inside. Launches the bomb. Rims out. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. coming out of this timeout as play resumes. A lot of time to go now, Dick, on a seven-point lead. That's right, Brad, a lot of time. They don't need to start forcing shots. He shoots from the top of the circle. He drills it from beyond the arc. Good defensive pressure. Head right on the ball, drive him to the spot you like to take him and then beat him. He throws up the shot. Off the rim and no good. A 
the high screen. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive play. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Can't get the shot to go. Time out on the court, so let's go court side. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Let's get back to the action. That makes it a four-point lead. These kids are here to fight, Brad. Tries for two. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. A lot of pressure on that basketball. That's the key to their defense. Pushing more than I had a He takes the shot from the baseline. He shows the sweet touch. We've got ourselves a dandy here, folks. The lead has been trimmed to four. Defense getting back to prevent an easy bucket. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Shot clock is dead. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. And there's a look at the foul situation so far. Hey, know when to foul and when not to foul is a great skill to have. Coaches should always be communicating this with their team. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Lots of rim, but not in. A Buccaneer is crucial. Maybe some game plan changes, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. It's a five-point ball game. That's not a lot of points to be down with this much time, Brad. He attempts the trifecta, buries it. And yet another foul. Brad, I think he'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. To the charity strike. Up and in. Makes the second. The lead trickles down to four. Time is either your best friend or your worst enemy at this point, Brad. It'll be interesting to see who responds how out of the timeout, Brad. This is the big time. Goes in. Dick, they're really going to have to regroup. This is a big shock, I'm sure, to their fans and the coaching staff. they got to find a way to come back because they weren't what they expected. Well, I think what happened, Brad, they really weren't focused. And right now, this is a the reality. I think they start getting a little cocky, maybe reading their press clippings. But now, maybe they'll say to themselves, you know what? We better come to play, and we better be ready. And I think that starts with practice. Tennessee gets edged out in overtime. This is going to be hard to swallow since they were the favorites coming into this game. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.